real influencers, those yeah. peer mentors, yeah. in actually getting more people to do it. And, and one of the, the skill sets that's missing is the knowledge yeah. and the experience of sport and physical activity. Yeah. And so you're saying 20, 30% of your organization, you could actually, in theory, then pick someone out who would be able to, alongside maybe an organization like ourselves, be trained, have the knowledge and experience of, to know who to go to and, and I, advocate for that in certain scenarios? And I think we could, and I, I don't see any reason why we couldn't be looking at a model that would vet someone's motivation between us and our own knowledge of our own areas, so mine in the mentoring here with drug and alcohol recovery and yours around getting people active and sustainable behaviour change in your uh, perspective, and that we wouldn't have some little way of um, hedging our bets on the investment um, and, and making something work. That's certainly been my experience when I get people trained up that there'll be a small percentage might relapse or disengage for whatever reason, mental health. There'll be a good proportion, some of you, two were featured on TV last night, that go on to get paid employment. So wow. inside out program, we had a couple of people who used to be peer supporters come back to full time education. So that's amazing. Yeah, isn't it? that's brilliant. Yeah, and I think we can reduce our uh, financial exposure to that or our risk of uh, uh, poor return on investment. If you want to be really cold about that, yeah, um, yeah, that wouldn't be difficult. So how do you think that would work best? Would it work through? Um, training through a workshop or would it work better through giving almost like myself being a peer mentor on sport and physical activity for peer mentors or some one of my colleagues coming in and and doing and being there as a support structure for somebody yeah so the model that I see happening in the direction of travel would be would give them the initial training and then they'd be coached uh, or mentored through uh, their role as they kind of bed in so yeah to be a mixture of both would give them the training to upskill them to do it, and then they'd have a go-to person like yourself or um, whoever it would be, uh, that kind of go-to person if they had any questions around that, to get that mentoring. So mentor the mentor. Okay. I think it's a fantastic. I really believe that's the direction to travel. Yeah. It's something we are already doing in one of the charities that is Rise, where we get people who are part of the wider business community who aren't in recovery, and they are mentoring people who are ex-offenders. Yeah, yeah. It's a similar model. 